Hey everyone, this is Ramanan. Today we're gonna see the sculpting process of a game character from Assassin's Creed. I know it's been a long time since I did a clay figurine. Uh, it's just that I've joined a class. It's a 3D animation software. It's a six months course. So uh, my working speed with the rest of the art mediums have gone really slow since then. So I'm trying to catch up once again. The armature was actually fixed in Jan first week and then I had to postpone it completely because of the class works and all. And uh, since it's been a long time, I was not comfortable in working with clay today actually. It was a bit embarrassing for me. And thankfully it's a game character and I didn't want to be super accurate with it. So the character has got some two to three main shades in it in its costume. It will be grey, red and some kind of a black and burnt umber kind of a shade. Since there isn't a clay with me in that colour, I decided to go with black itself. So it will be black for the shoes, pants and uh, there is a kind of a padding that he has got for his leg area. I decided to go with that part at the end as in after finishing the clothing and all and his hands are actually supposed to be in an open position that is the fingers are supposed to be spread open but I didn't want to do it that way because if I had to do it that way I'll have to cut the armature a little bit in those areas and I have to add smaller pieces of copper for, for it and uh, that might work but I didn't want to do it because a bit lazy since it's been a long time, I didn't want to uh, work that hard for this character. And since it's gonna have a kind of a small dagger kind of a weapon from his sleeves, I felt this kind of a pose should be fine. So after finishing off the leg area, I've done a really basic kind of a shape for it. So from there, I'm moving on to the shirt part. It's actually uh, silver clay it's not actual grey uh, it has a little bit of sparkle in it but after you bake it out you won't have that much of a shine in it and all in the shirt of this character I've done a similar kind of costume last year uh, if you guys have seen the movie it there's this freaking clown character in it Pennywise uh, his shirt is kind of very similar to this character I mean, this character wouldn't have any frills and all, but the shade of it, the style of it, it's kind of the same. And since it's been a long gap, I was a bit excited to work with Clay today. So I actually forgot to press record two times today. Uh, one was uh, when working with the shirt, there is a double collar kind of thing in it. So in the first collar, I forgot to record and in the second was there's a kind of a red belt for him. Uh, there I forgot to press record. I think I did it because I had to mix some clay and I didn't want to uh, just let the video on record and also I had to stop it and I forgot to start recording. So meanwhile, to give a short feedback about 3D modeling, that is with the software and all. I actually don't find that much comfortable in working with it because it takes a it takes hours and hours to finish off even simple models and all at times. So I'm particularly not a fan of staring at screens for a long time. So it is uncomfortable at this moment. But meanwhile, when you're working with clay and all, you don't have that kind of strain and all. Of course, there is a little bit of physical pain here and there when working for a long time with clay, yes. But uh, it gives a good feel at the end, okay, that something that you've done by yourself. But when it comes to a software, most of the work over there is like you use reference images and you just draw on it directly. Drawing as in you're going to uh, use the software to make the 3D model in it. So it doesn't give the similar kind of a satisfaction for me. I don't know, I might get used to it in the coming days. We'll have to wait and watch. 
so coming back to the clay figurine the hoodie part it was the complicated part of this whole work cuz it's a complicated shape it's not that easy to do it i had to uh, reposition it some two to th- three times and still I-, i wasn't that much sure if i've done it right or not and the clay itself was uncomfortably very soft in that part cuz we're trying to give textured details and all and uh, the clay itself it doesn't have much of a thick layer to it so it will be very wobbly and it will stretch out when it's too soft and sometimes what will happen is it can stretch too much and you'll have to take off the whole part reshape it once again and keep it in position so we have to work very carefully in those part and all so from there we're going to the leg area as i said there is a small padding work in it and since we finish off the shirt part now i can comfortably work with the leg padding and after that going to the sleeves uh there is a kind of a dagger as i said coming from the sleeves i used chart for it black chart paper it's a 300 gsm sheet and the right hand doesn't have a uh, similar kind of a uh, forearm padding and all and he's got a glove i didn't even have to use skin tone for that part i went with direct black clay itself the dagger thing kind of uh, comes out from the glove itself i'm really not sure how it works so we'll just leave it right there so from there i'm uh, giving this kind of a um, supporting belt kind of a thing for his cape kind of a thing i'm not even sure if it is a cape and you'll see that when i'm working it so just wait a little bit for that part and uh, after this belt i had to mix red color so i think that is where i stopped the video recording and i forgot to start uh actually this character was one of my favorite game characters but sadly i never got to play this game i just saw the posters and it looked very cool so i don't know i might play this at some point of my life we'll see so if you can see here the red belt sort of a thing i forgot to uh, record that part so from here we gonna go to the cape sort of a thing for him Uh, before that we'll finish off the double leather belt so this uh, cape thing is actually in uh, two shades the inner part is in red color the outer part is in the mix of black and burnt tumbler so if i try to use black clay i'll have to paint red to the inner part which isn't that much easy so i decided to go with red color itself and paint the colors after baking the clay so After this we're going to bake the clay at 100 degrees Celsius for some 15 minutes in a simple convection oven. So after that I'll be using a color palette of red, white, black, burnt umber, silver. All right? So we'll first uh, finish off the burnt umber and black paint mix. Uh the mix was actually done with uh, glass kind of a paint medium I, i didn't go with matte finish for it because since it's a leather sort of a material i wanted it to look shiny and uh, again since he is a game character i didn't want it to look uh, perfectly smooth for his uh, the cape sort of a thing so it looks a bit rugged after baking also it's because i didn't condition the clay perfectly because what will happen is there will be this small air pockets in it which will swell up af- during the process of baking so it will look rugged which i really wanted and it has happened over here it was particularly made on purpose nothing that went wrong <laughs> okay uh, and for the eye part and all it was pretty complicated to paint from that angle but i still went for it because uh, it will look awkward if someone tries to peek into that part and if it's too plain it looks in skin color they'll freak out so i had to paint it anyway and uh, we're finishing off with the red stripes for him so do you see it now it kind of looks more like that freaking clown character the costume part yep yes so we've done the figurine successfully i hope it looks good to you all 
and uh, please do let me know what you felt in the comment section below i'll be glad to hear your feedbacks and all and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and do check out my social media handles there in the description box down below so until then i'll see you guys with another clay work pretty soon bye bye